Welcome to Connected World, a podcast for engineers to learn more about trending topics influencing the connected world and the techniques turning today's impossible into tomorrow's awesome. Hello and welcome to Connected World, a podcast from TE Connectivity, a podcast for engineers to learn more about trending topics influencing the connected world. I'm your host today, Tyler Kern. Thank you so much for joining us. Joining the program today is Felisa Chong, and she is a product manager for RF antennas at TE Connectivity. And we're going to be talking about wireless solutions for the IoT market, an area that has seen substantial growth in recent years. So Felisa, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Well, thank you, everyone. My name is Felisa Chong. And nice to talk to you. It's very nice to talk to you today, Felisa. So thank you so much for taking some time and, and, and for joining the show. So, uh, so Felisa, what are some of the industries and use cases where you're seeing growth in the deployment of IoT devices? I would like to say there are a lot of growing devices, such as smart meters, smart buildings, smart cities. Um, for example, lighting, integrated solar, small cell camera, and also smart home, and, and so on. And we, TE, we will select it uh, two focus area. We see these two areas will growing very fast. The first one is smart tracking, and the second one is the smart building as the focused application. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are some of the emerging trends you're seeing in the wireless connectivity market? Like you mentioned, smart tracking, smart building, we are seeing a lot more of that. So, so tell me about some of the emerging trends you're seeing in, in wireless connectivity. Yes, 5G is, all, of course, the major trend for the wireless market. But um, when we look back to the machine-to-machine -machine communications, utilization, low-power networks such as ultra-wideband, YLAN, Zippy, or Bluetooth to transit the data. And it helped to divide, drive the IoT adoption. Moreover, it is the event to see the low power when like MBLT, LTKM, and 5G high efficiency transmission that also helped IoT growth. While the 3G and 4G networks facilitated wireless communication among people, 5G allows greater connection among things, causing a paradigm shift that has directed focus on developing um, sophisticated IoT solutions for a range of industrial and environment connections. Absolutely, absolutely. So 5G is going to be a major player moving forward. Yes. Definitely, definitely. All right. So uh, how have these trends, uh, th these trends like you've mentioned, 5G, um, allowing for greater connectivity and that sort of thing, how have these trends created new challenges for, for engineers? Yeah, for, for engineering perspective, actually, there are some basic requirements if you want to uh, design the 5G IoT devices, such as they will request the very highest efficiency for a very clean transmission and optimized battery life. You know, when I use my mobile phone, it really pinpoint that it will run out of the battery, right? And the second one will be um, the high quality transmission, signal interruption against the interference or noises. And third one, like harsh environment, durability, uh, robust design in a very dry or very moisture prone areas. And following would be the compact design. So the device will be more smaller and smaller, small phone factor design will be very important. And for 5G, uh, we saw the challenges from engineering is that inside a, a device, they will request the multiple frequencies operation. So they need more and more bandwidth and very complex design in a very small device, and it always re requests the global cellular networks. Yeah, that's the major challenges from engineering. Excellent. So, so Felisa, you've been with TE Connectivity for over 13 years now. So tell me about that experience and how it's helped you understand the challenges that, that customers and engineers are facing and what the potential solutions could be. Tell me a little bit about how your experience helps inform how you approach these challenges. Yeah, for example, um, we just talk about the smart tracking, smart tracking and the smart building. So the situation for smart tracking um, is like 
they will be started a business focusing on global tracking and they will use a variety of antennas that made their devices. So tracking, what you can consider that it's very small devices. However, right now, if commercial ones, global ones, the tracker will be heavier, bigger, or more expensive to produce. So they um, sometimes they are considering to use the chip antenna, mm -hmm. and that is a, not allowed the multiple band because chip antenna is very small size and always refer to the single band. So um, if the tracking data need more cellular bandwidth, and um, sometimes they didn't understand how it is complicated, the re radio frequency requirements. So that would be the bottleneck. And for, for engineering, for T perspective, we always can provide a different solution. Like we can offer the custom design, some embedded antenna for 5G connectivity in that can enable our client to build a reusable or smart system, um, such like a very similar as a mobile phone device that can integrate other like sensors or other devices into a very small uh, device. And also we can reduce the weight of the antenna. We can use different material such as the FPC type, or we can consider as a mechanical parts to integrate on the metal short or uh, combine with the other components, which can lower the cost mm. and uh, lower the size. Yeah. Also, we can consider some 3D type or SMD antennas can integrate all the devices. So that would be our solution to offer to the small smart tracking solution. And as for uh, smart building, mm -hmm. we talk about the smart building, just like a, if you build up your own house, you will consider most about the security and some mobility, like parking lot, you need to connect with some wireless devices then can help you to do the automation for the parkings or inside the house you need to connect with other application like your coffee machine your tv everything you want to use one device to control so smart building and smart home the whole system will be needed more and more antennas and that wireless can talk to each other so we need to consider how to develop or how to design these antennas without in interfering. And um, who, these devices can can communicate with each other. So MIMO, multi-input, multi-output antenna assembly will enable the highest quality wireless servers for, for the extended range. Or we can customize the embedded antenna, support the smart door cameras and the cloud bases, and that can control all the security system. Mm -hmm. And for example, your personal e key cards, key fobs, or some, some link, Bluetooth link to your mobile phone. So that's our thoughts to help solve all the complicated problems. Just like I mentioned, the three D antenna assembly would be the good choice for the designing as a smart home devices. Right, you know, and I think that so many, um, so many people these days want to live in places that have smart building capabilities or work in places yes. that have you know smart building capabilities because it does give you that that level of uh of, of interconnectivity right where everything works together and you're able to track various things i think building managers that's extremely valuable right to know um yes. what's going on with an hvac system and what's going on with security and um you know have smart lighting and, and all of these various areas so i think this is um this is really important to be able to uh to continue to track all of these things as we move forward because the technology enables it now yes yeah i think about the smart buildings when you go into the building everything is automatically connected and you can use your 
in, in the future, maybe you can use your personal e-card to access a lot of things, even pay, like smart pay, or you can enter the elevators and all the data can, can receive to your mobile, like your schedules, everything. Um, you can now understand uh, what, you, what you are going to do per day. So I think a smart building can combine a lot of information. And also we, the biggest important is the security, how to control the security in the iCloud, the cloud server is very important. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what are some future areas of development that you're particularly excited about, whether it's just uh, something that, that you think is interesting or something that you think is going to change the world? Um, you know, what, what are some of those areas that, that you're particularly excited about? Yeah, for, for technology-wise, I think um, we live in the technology world and this world with so many uncertainties. And technology is one consistent that continues to move us forward. So interconnect devices that enable to transmit the data and share data to each other, this bridging the gap between the physical and virtual worlds. So with the IoT, it helped us to create very smart environment by linking these devices to everyday settings and techs that help all the individuals, business, and potentially all the societies live in a more smarter and comfortable way and technology help us to grow fast. So I see two major um, excited future chains I, I, I foresee. It. Uh, one is the micro miniaturization and the other is the integration. So for example, um, my micro miniaturization can fit into the wearable small size products. So even can into some uh, very small tracking chip inside everybody or inside wild animals. So integration, the sensors, speakers or connectors, like for example, we can um, sense some changes in advance. For example, earthquake or climate change, or if, if consider the ocean, we can sense the wave or like big storm. If we have the smart tracking system into our uh, wild animals, then we can protect them, we can check them and prevent them to the extinction. For example, I'm a scuba diver mm -hmm. uh, diving for over 10 years. In, within these 10 years, I saw our earth, our world change a lot, especially the fish population. I didn't see sharks or whale sharks or tunas as much as 10 years ago. I think it's due to um, our human being habits or maybe climate change. Mm -hmm. But I'm always thinking if we can use our technology, for example, these wireless tracking systems, like smart control system to help these wild animals, that would be great because I saw the global warming, um, it make our polar bears go to, you know, even extinction. So it's, it's very sad that we people, human beings enjoy the technology, but we cannot do anything for our, um, the other wild animals. So I always thinking if we can use our technology like integration systems or any kind of wireless connection that we can help this to do something and save our world. I really like that answer because it's it's personal to you, right? Uh, you're you're taking something that that you love and then merging it with the thing that you do yeah. for your job, right? You like you love being outdoors, you love scuba diving, and um, but you work in, in this world of connectivity. So you ask yourself, how can I bring those two things together? And I think that that is a, a really powerful example of how this technology can be utilized to better our world, not just in connected buildings and 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 in uh, tracking and, and wireless tracking and things like that, but also in, you know, um, in wildlife and in seeing animals like this be protected. I, I think that that's a really powerful example of the potential that this technology holds for the future. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 
Excellent, excellent. Well, Felisa Chong, uh, product manager RF for antennas at TE Connectivity. Thank you so much, uh, Felisa, for joining us today here on Connected World, uh, a podcast from TE Connectivity, and uh, sharing some insights for us on uh, the wireless IoT market. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Absolutely. And everybody out there, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the podcast. We appreciate you listening very much. Of course, we'll be back soon with more episodes. But until then, make sure you're subscribed on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to stay up to date with the latest uh, in in what's going on um, in the world, uh, in the connected world and uh, with wireless solutions and things along those lines. So stay up to date. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll be back soon with more episodes. But until then, I've been your host today, Tyler Kern. Thanks so much for listening.